Hi. So some students of mine came to me and asked me uh, some questions about the unit circle. So I decided to make this quick video. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is look at what's called a unit circle. A unit circle is basically by definition it means uh, radius equal to one. That's it. One single unit. Okay, so that's the definition of a unit circle. Also, since uh, circumference equals 2 pi r and the radius is 1, the circumference equals 2 pi. Okay, so that's what we have so far. We also need a couple of other things at all uh, uh, before we start. Do you remember Sokotoa? S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. So here's how this works. You have an angle theta right here. And this is your x direction, that's your y direction, and that's your radius, which happens to be that lonely one. So what's the cosine of the angle, theta? What's well, the adjacent to the hypotenuse? The ratio of that, by definition, is x over 1, which is x. Well, what's the sine of the angle? Sine of the angle is defined as the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So it's y over 1, which happens to be the y direction. So these are some things you have to remember. Cosine of theta is the x direction, and the sine of the angle is, equal, is the y direction. Now we can start defining the unit circle. We know a couple of things. Here's 0 degrees, 0 radians as well. Full circle is also 2 pi. Half of 2 pi is pi. Half of that is going to be pi over 2. And over here it's going to be 3 pi over 2. Okay, got it. Let's go over some basic ones as well. Let's go half of pi over 2 happens to be pi over 4. This happens to be 2 pi over 4. Do you see that? pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which is the same thing as pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which happens to be pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, reduced happens to be 3 pi over 2, and 7 pi over 4. Remember, pi over 4, since uh, pi is equal to, how many degrees is pi over 2? 180 degrees, right? Um, uh, pi is 180 degrees. This is going to be 90 degrees, and this is going to be 45 degrees. So pi over 4 and 45 are numbers that are very similar to each other. Okay. Also, one third of pi over 2 is pi over 6. Pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5, let me see, pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, oh, this is 3 pi over 6, sorry, which happens to be pi over 2. Is that? 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and then finally 6 pi over 6, which happens to be pi as well. 7 pi over 6, uh, 8 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6, happens to be 3 pi over 2, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6. And this, these always reduce to uh, not just pi, uh, 2 pi over 6, but pi over 3. So you can reduce these as well. So you have the basics now to do the unit circle. Okay, so how do we do it? It's a very simple process, actually. And here's how we're going to do it. Uh, the x-coordinate is going to be, it's everything is over 2. Over 2, over 2, divided by 2 divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. 
all of these are all going to be divided by 2. Uh, the x coordinate is going to be root 4, root 3, root 2, root 1, root 0. See that? And then it's going to go backwards, so it's going to be negative root 3, negative root 2, no, uh, 0 root 1, negative root 2, negative root 3, and negative root 4. Negative root 4 is just, if you simplify this, it's just going to be negative 1, right? And then you go backwards again, it's going to be negative root 3, negative root 2, negative root 1, negative or negative root 0, and then we're going to go back to positive in the x direction, because it's in a positive x direction. Root 1, root 2, root 3, and root 4. That's it. Let's do the y coordinate. It's going to be starting, it's over 2 as well. Wow. Um, And then over 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and we do the same thing in the y direction. It's going to be root 0, root 1, root 2, root 3, root 4, uh, root 3, uh, remember it's still in the positive for the y direction, root 2, root 1, root 0, it's going to be negative in the y direction in third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So negative root 1, negative root 2, negative root 3, negative root 4, negative, and then it's going to be negative root 3, negative root 2, negative root 1, and 0, back to 0. Don't forget, some of these answers are very, uh, uh, you have to reduce that. Root 4 over 2 has, happens to be 1. Root 0 over 2 happens to be 0. Ah, the coordinate here is 1, 0. And obviously here is going to be 0, comma 1. And then, of course, here it's going to be negative 1 in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. Okay, so root 4, root 3, root 2, root 1, 0. All 30, 45, 60, 90. And then 120, 135, 150, 180, 210, 225, 240, 270, 3, um, 270, 300, 315, 330, and obviously 330, 360. Got it? Cosine is your x direction, sine is your y direction. So let's look at one example and then we'll finish, okay? So let's try an example. What is, is, is the cosine of 60 degrees? 60 degrees is located right here. Cosine is extraction, root 4, root 3, root 2, root 1, over 2, which is equal to 1 half. And there it is. Good luck.